What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you a look at indie CRPG The Way of Wrath, a title that puts you in the role of a tribal chieftain with just 10 days to prepare for an oncoming attack, which you can do by managing both your tribe via things like enacting laws and more direct actions like interacting with the world, taking on a few quests, etc. Though I will say, while this game does feature combat, the vast majority of it is more of a story-driven experience. In fact, in the currently available demo, there's really only one fight that you can participate in at all. But this is a game I discovered while looking through demos for Steam Next Fest, though I believe this one is not specifically related to that Next Fest. I think it just has a demo. But as always, I'm pretty much up for anything CRPG, so I wanted to take a look at it. After doing a little bit of investigation, I discovered that this was apparently a successful Kickstarter from some time ago that is set to release in 2024. And it looks like, at the very least, it's trying to do a few interesting things, though how successful it manages to be at them certainly remains to be seen. With that in mind, when you jump into the title, the first thing you'll do is make your own character, which involves picking the tribe your character is from, their background, their basic archetype, though this is a classless system, alongside a couple traits, etc., that all affect how people in your tribe view you. Though all of this is just a starting point that can then be further defined by your actions throughout the game. From there, the game throws you directly into making a big decision in relation to the justice surrounding a recent murder committed by an obviously haunted warrior. How you choose to approach this situation affects how people feel about you before setting you on your way to the rest of the game. Immediately after this, you get your first look at the story, which sees you interacting with a shaman of sorts, who gives you a little more background on, of course, the specific scenario about the attack coming in 10 days or so, and that you need to prepare, and then there's a few quests involved in this, though a good bit of what you'll be doing is employing your skills in various ways, such as herbalism, fishing, crafting, cooking, etc., and just getting the resources you need to prepare. And that sort of feeds into the classless skill progression, as you'll level those things up simply by utilizing them, and then your characters can level up and assign various skill points to individual skills, as far as combat-related things go, though all of that is, again, very bare-bones in this demo, so it's hard to give you a good grasp of what that'll wind up feeling like. And I'll talk more about that in a second. But in addition to those things, the game is aiming to set up a system where you have to deal with the actual problems of your tribe at the same time, which includes things like making rulings, enacting laws, and then how you yourself follow or interact with the laws you set will determine how your people feel about you, which then, of course, gives you access to different options based on how you built your character and then how you interacted with the world. Or at least in theory, the demo doesn't showcase a whole ton of this, but you get the general gist of it. And with that system in mind, every character you meet is just that, a fully fleshed out character that has their own traits, personalities, and how they interact with certain reputations surrounding you will then of course change, and that's before you even get to the actual combat part, which unfortunately is the part of the game I can tell you the least about, as the game is story-driven first and foremost, but it looks like they're aiming to have a choice between real-time or turn-based, and then using of course your gear and your skills to take out enemies, but also a bit on the preparation side of things, as it's possible to craft and create traps, bombs, other weapons, etc. that all let you set up for an encounter before it actually begins, trying to tip the scales in your favor. And while that sounds promising enough, I must admit I'm a little curious why they didn't just go the full-blown sort of narrative RPG route with this, as the core concept is interesting enough for those styles of games that I am wondering if actually adding the combat here won't wind up just being a net detriment to the rest of the game, especially if it is exceedingly rare in its occurrence. But again, all of that is just real hard to ascertain from simply a demo. And believe it or not, there's still plenty of things I haven't covered, like the environmental interactions you can have, a fair bit of which is simply because, again, just a demo here, don't know the full implementation of those things. But the last thing I want to leave you guys with is the overall atmosphere. After all, we are in charge of an entire tribe, and they have their own cultures, etc., as there are many different tribes and customs coming together, and how you choose to interpret those laws and customs, and then thus impose them on your own tribe, will come into play. And for the most part, I think they really nail an atmosphere of 
dark and gritty fantasy atop a layer of just general superstition. And at least in that regard, I think they're really on to something. So to sort of sum this up and make a video out of it properly here, I will say that I don't entirely know what to make of this game, if I'm being honest. I think it has a lot of cool ideas, but I think a lot of it will simply come down to how well executed those are in the final version. But as with basically everything when it comes to CRPGs, I will be more than happy to see how it winds up shaking out. So if it actually hits its target of a release this year, I'll almost certainly be taking a look at its launch version. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about this game. Hopefully I put it on your radar as I hadn't really heard of it before this. So I hope you found this video interesting at the very least. But that is going to do it for for this video. Though don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, but regardless of any of that, truly just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.